Hi there, Doreen here, Heart of New Jersey member. And today's lesson is on quad thongs. I know what you're thinking. Stop it. There's no such thing as a quad thong. No, no there is. No, there is there is actually a quad thong. That's right. Quad as in four. Yeah, yeah, they did it. They found a way to put four vowels in a word. And maybe you're thinking, I don't really know of any words that have four vowel sounds. That seems like a lot of vowels. Well, let me give you an example. The word choir, okay? Apparently, if you sing it in the ideal vowel to vowel is wire. Ooh, ah, e, er. Wire. Choir, wire. Yeah, okay, sorry for the weird pitch I need to do it that way first. So, if you noticed what I noticed, it's that there was really no k sound in the choir in the beginning, and that's because sweet adelines are a bunch of cheaters. That's right, they dropped the consonants. Hmm. I noticed it in other words, too. They rather, like, really minimalize them, or they just don't pronounce them. They're like, nah, nah, we'll, we'll just do the vowel, just do a vowel. That's our style, yeah. So, why? Why? Why, in goodness name, do we need four vowel sounds? Is that what you're thinking? That's what I was thinking. Well, <clears throat> I've learned that uh, sound travels, right? So by the time it gets to the audience, to them, it sounds like the word choir. So even though we're hearing choir, especially if you're in front of me, you're hearing all sorts of things, uh, but the audience is hearing the word that you're intending for them to hear if you're singing it properly. So that's it. I, I hope. I mean, I, I tried Googling uh, sync throng and oct throng, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. So we've got dip thong, trip thong, and a quad thong. Two, three, and four. Because vowel to vowel people vowel to vowel mm, that's all you need to know for today thanks for joining me on this journey i will see you next time my friend